One of my favorite smells in the entire world is that of baking bread. So today we're gonna do just that as we make hot rolls. If you follow my YouTube channel, you know that we have been in this book before, Placid Eating, and it's from Lake Placid, New York. 1948 is the year of this book. It's got a lot of really good bread recipes in it. And I'm going to be making hot rolls today because tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in America. And I am going to be bringing these rolls to my in-laws who are hosting our Thanksgiving meal. And we'll see how these end up. Why don't you try them with me? We're going to start today by taking a quarter cup of warm water. You don't want it too warm though because we're going to be putting a package of yeast. Uh, the original recipe calls for a yeast cake, uh, but one of these little packets is equivalent to the old recipes that call for one yeast cake. Um, and they count for the same thing. So I'm gonna put that in my water. I'm also going to put a tablespoon of sugar in there, and I'm gonna stir those together to get that yeast started. Uh, now this step in modern recipes is not usually required uh, because the yeast is already activated in different ways. Um, however, uh, I do try to stay uh, true to these old recipes and so if it calls for the water and the sugar starter, uh, obviously that water is going to create some moisture in the recipe. Um, so I, I maintain all these steps anyway. As I'm mixing this today, I'm gonna to be using my stand mixer bowl because it's gonna be easier to knead it later on. Um, but we're gonna start by putting in a cup of warm water. And to that, we are going to add a third cup of sugar. And we're also gonna put half a cup of butter, which is one stick in today's standards. And also, we are going to put a teaspoon of salt in there and we're gonna give that a stir. After the yeast has sat for a little bit, you're going to add that in to the mixture that we just created with the butter. Now obviously this isn't going to stir together very well because butter and water and all of that liquid just is not going to homogenize the way that, you know, something with other dry ingredients would, so we need to add those dry ingredients we're going to put in two cups of flour and slowly add that into our wet mix. And then after that is all beat together, we're gonna let this sit for about an hour to rise. After an hour has passed, we're going to add one egg in, and we're also going to add two more cups of flour uh, gradually just to mix that in. Uh, and then following all of that getting mixed together, we're just gonna let this sit for about two hours until it has fully risen. The final step is going to be to take our dough and roll it into what they call biscuits, although really what we're doing is we're just making little rounds. And then you're gonna dip it in butter, put it into a baking pan, and then you're going to let that double once again to about one and a half hours it should take, according to the book, and then into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes.
In my honest opinion, these are not life-changing or anything like that, but this is exactly what you want when you're thinking of a traditional hot roll, something to go with, let's say, a Thanksgiving meal, because that's literally what I made these for. And I've got to say, they were pretty well received. One thing that um, I really like about these is they have a little bit of a sweet taste to them. Uh, not overly sweet, but it's enough to add some flavor and make it unique. They could be a little bit dry perhaps, but it's not too bad. When they're warm, put some butter on it and that'll moisten it right up. I think I made these just a little bit too big. Uh, I know some of you out there are very specific about every roll has to be uniform and it has to be the same. Uh, I'm not that guy, uh, so I kind of eyeball it. Uh, and to be honest, these turned out a little bit more like the size of hamburger rolls. But who's to say you couldn't use these as hamburger rolls? Like my father-in-law said, these would make great uh, rolls to make leftover turkey sandwiches with after the Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, but whatever it is, these are a good roll recipe. Uh, give it a try and let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time on Recipe Reviver.